Good afternoon friends and welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. I'm Mel. I'm Grace. And I don't know whether you saw it or not, but a few weeks ago we uh, took a trip, our first ever trip to the Muche sale yards where we bought 14 sheep to start with. Um, and that quickly, um, that was fun. So that quickly became a bit of a excitement for Alex and, and a bit of an obsession. So, um, a few weeks later, so he flew out and then wasn't available the following week. Um, so we had to do a lot of things in order to get a lot of the places ready, uh, for accepting new sheep. Um, one of those was to collect things like Q drench and at this time of the year, vitamin E oil for their health, but also to take down and replace a couple of fences um, so that they would be contained really well. Dorpers are kind of crazy sheep and they they always um, muck about. So this video is all of the things sort of put, put together that we did gearing up for the sheep, like, um, you know, collecting them and bringing them home and having them in a quarantine area until we drench them, putting up new fences and things like that, as well as the drenching and just general checking over of the sheep. And at that point, um, we also tagged some new babies that were born. So some of them we bought were already pregnant, which was a super bonus for us. We've, to date, we've got how many boys? Um, Three boys and two girls. Yeah. So we've kept two boys entire. They're nice, big, stocky. Like, they look really good. They look like they're going to be great rams. And seeing as the ram didn't come with them, we are going to be able to use them for breeding. Um, we like to keep a couple of surplus anyway, just in case something should happen to our rams. Um, and then we separated off all the weathers and all the wooled sheep because we don't want to have to do shearing um, anymore. So we will, oh yeah, the crossies have got wool on them. So we're going to be eating them over the next few weeks, a um, few months, weeks, giving them out to friends and things like that as well. Um, and yeah, so we hope you enjoy this video. It might be a bit higgledy piggledy because we did, it's a few videos over a few different days, but I'll try and keep it cohesive for you. Enjoy. She thinks you're her baby too. <laughs> Look how big those boys are. No, not nice. Yeah, because they're merinos. <laughs> oh no, you make me laugh. It's not a waste of money. That was a good buy. Hello ladies. And this one, and this one. No, we need to come back. <laughs> Alex, not so rough. Slowly. Come back. Hey! The gate's shut, it's fine. Bring him back. Bring him back. Watch out along the sides, love. Walk up, Noah. Not too fast. Oh, 
Gracie back. Gracie, come back here. Lucky we bought a truck and a trailer because we accidentally bought more than we wanted. That, it's good. Here they come. Grace, get back out the way. That's why I'm here. I said the sheep want to move there. Well, listen to me. Oh, that one's got bad hops. Good boy, Noah. Can we cut the rose in half if we need to, like cut it? Yeah, yeah, we'll just pin them up up here. Hey, hey. And we have to leave some of them here because Alex swats it flies too much. Noah, close that one. Yep. First 25. Our new sheep in our quarantine area. Fresh water, trace elements, mineral block. Mina. They're not afraid of her. Did you see that? They're not afraid of her. She's just looking, it's her job.
another one of these monotonous takes forever jobs is pulling down old fences and rolling them up neat enough to be transported to the tip. Um, this particular one here is the one that goes around our orchard and we've noticed that the cows are seeing the green leaves on all of our fruit trees and are deciding to just push through it and step through it. So that's moved up the list um, to sort of quite high at the top. So today what we're doing is as long as we remove all this old stuff, putting up a fence is really easy. Um, so that's what we're doing here. I'll just turn you around and show you. And as we go, we're loading up the trailer with all of the rubbish so that nothing gets left around. Um, we, yeah, so we've got little tubs. We've been finding bits of glass and, and metal and stuff like that. So if we get it all sort of out and taken down, Putting up the new fence is going to be a piece of cake and it will be done by the time Alex is back next. So you, as you can see, this fence has been here for a long time. Listen to that crazy bugger. Jetson. We moved all the young calves away so he's losing it. Yeah, that's fine. So um, through this video you're going to see we're kind of doing just you know the odd jobs we do around the farm just snippets of things like that so um there's always something happening and you'll see me in different clothes and brock in different clothes and that sort of stuff um but yeah i'm just doing pretty much a week of odd random jobs that we've got going on we've got a little bit of cool weather um just before the start of summer so we're going to take advantage of that and get all the really hard stuff done hope you enjoy Or what? Or what now? We can just keep rolling if you wanted to. Just leave it there, I'll take it back to the car after. I see me rolling. It's a nice roll of fence, eh? Put that at the front where you just stomped. That can go in the back of the car, yeah. Great. No, 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 grab the... It was rolled nice and tight. Grab that, yeah, the star picket. That's it. How good's that, Noah? Huh? How good's that? Oh. Now for the next piece of fence. Short length. It's only from, it's on the other side of our property. 
So it's the laneway that sort of divides. Well, this is where we walk everyone up when we need to bring them over to the house or the sheds to do anything on them, medications, that sort of thing, doing their feet, worming, etc., etc. So if you have a look, it's been quite dodgily put together from the, the first post all the way down. Um, so yeah, we're just pulling all this out. Um, they all, there's like there's old wood posts from previous. Um, but yeah, we want to be able to run animals through here to graze them and keep it low, that sort of thing. Um, and we need them to not be able to get into our neighbor's place because he doesn't run livestock. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Make it all neat and tidy. Last little bit, pliers in, gloves in. All right, turn around and we're going back up the house. So the fence is completely taken down. We've cleared the, the line there because putting fence in is piece of cake. Taking it out is the hard part and collecting up all the bits of wire and stuff. That's gonna stay there because that little bit there is going to be done last after we've done our crossover but we'll be able to keep rolling it and have one nice neat rusty roll yeah up you get come in now. yeah no not you i'll not be in the front up you get get up get up she's like lift me you lazy bum too hot all right shut that but what's your bum what's your bum tuck it in Suck your tail in. There you go, good girl. How's that, Brock? Yeah, that was good. Good bit of fencing. Do the hard part. Check it out. We already cleaned up the pile up the top, eh? Yay, us. We can leave it like this till Alex gets home because our neighbour doesn't have any livestock. And I'm sure he'll be glad to see a nice new fence there. Hey. Can we, I reckon, see where the gate's folded back there? Yeah. We don't need to close that. Yeah. Afternoon, welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. I'm Mel. And I'm Grace. That's Jackson, he's cracking it. We're all set up, ready to do some sheep work. We're getting in all the ewes that we bought at the sale yards that you saw. And some you didn't see because we bought another 75 after that so um we're going to get them in it's just cooling off it's been a hot day you don't do sheep work in the heat but um it's cooling off now so we're going to go slightly alter our quite dodgy sheep setup um because we've obviously got like 120 sheep now not just the old 40 to 50 we actually need a bigger holding pen so that's what we're sorting out now and um, then we'll get yeah. to it. Oh, hey, Jax, over here. Come back. Jackson got the fence line there. Yeah?
and they're going to see it, give them space. That's it. Give them space, let them, let them see. Let them see. Let them see, slow it down, no more noise. There we go. No, 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 no more noise. There's too many they'll fall, bro. Back up. Back up. No more pushing. Gently, 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 gently. Gently, gently. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. We'll get them out. That's all fine. That's it's going to come back through. Stop. No move. No move. No move. That's it. Beautiful. Tracy, get him. See her chin? We'll get her, we'll get her better. Come on, sweet pea. All right, go get the vitamin E and go get the drench. Let's do her first and leave her here. We sped this bit up as well because it actually took a lot longer than you'd imagine. We had to put our ear tags in the lambs, put the rings on the tails and testicles of all the males and just the rings on the tails for the girls. Once the mums are all drafted off, we let the lambs out with the mums so they could get back to feeding and being looked after by their mums. The next part was to draft off all of the weathers, which is a desexed male. You can see that happening in the left hand pen here. Those guys are staying over on the house side of the paddock where whenever we need um, meat sheep or something like that, we can actually just go out right near our shed and where our cows are and process one close to the house. And then all of the ewes or female sheep whether they had babies or not, went over to the paddock we call Pioneer on the other side of the property because that has the most pasture and water available to it. Okay, so uh, when it was fairly hot a couple of weeks ago, well, yeah, it was last week actually, not even a couple of weeks ago, um, we tore down this paddock around the orchard area. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see. So there's the post and then it used to go to there, yep. then to there and then down there to that post. Um, and it goes down as well to the corner where we let the cows in and out um, during milking times. So what we think we're going to do is go Straight from that post, it's 
excuse me, straight to that post in one straight line, leaving us a bit of room up here. We'll keep adding fruit trees sort of up to this point um, and making sure that um, it's protected from the cows. So we've got some star pickets and some brand new fencing um, wire. We've also got barbed wire because we put barb on the top of the fences. It stops the cows wanting to lean over and, and eat things. Um, yeah, so that's what we did over here with that fence. Lots of small fences, just trying to do little bits here, here and there and protecting things like the orchard. And then once we've got this done, we'll actually be able to utilize this entire area and all this dry feed that we've sort of had the cows locked away from. While they roll the new wire out, Grace and I are gonna finish taking down the old fence. Um, I'll show you why. We stopped it, we stopped taking it down because this line down here is still keeping cows out of here. But be because we're gonna be here and have a new fence going up, we um, can actually take it down now. So, so there's our beehives and a couple of olive trees. And we went to this point here. So you can see they're always in the wrong place, aren't they? They're always where we don't want them. The cows are actually, cows and horses are eating over there. Once we take this line down, they'll be able to have access. So we don't want that to happen. I think we're going to go to there and then all the way down to the corner. Yep. Leave it as that, and then when we have time, and like, say that your milking dad's up here, do it, um, Dad can probably take it out. Defense? Yeah. No, we're doing it now. It's, oh, it's no, easy. No, no, we'll take it now. It's easy. Cows? No, no, because Dad's rolling, they're rolling oh, wire really? out and making it now, so it's fine. We just hope that this post is tall enough to sustain the wire. It's very strong, so we're not going to be removing that one. That one's a good, strong post. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's right in there, isn't it? Yep. So we'll get cracking with this and hopefully be able to film a bit. Check out what this clown did. I'm trying to straighten Ready? the post. Just popped open. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Ready? Watch. Oh, yuck. Little mouth. Oh, well, something happened here. Do not mess oh, around with barbed wire. Big old cut there. It was like you could Maybe. talk with it. Let's catch him up. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. So we're ripping out this yucky old fence here. The cows are very curious, so they stand very close by to check it out. Husey and Jackson, we've lost one. He's inside, he got green and vomity after I fixed his shoulder. And um, so he's inside with an icy pole resting. Jackson, and Alex are running the new fence while we take down the old fence. The cow's sticky beak and I wanted to share, it's pretty cool. Harvest time, it's harvest time and our neighbors are harvesting. And I just love all the different seasons and there's always something different happening and you can almost set your watch by a day. Love it. Hey, go on there, Jaxie. You stepping it out, buddy? It's concentrating. Can't talk. Concentrate. I reckon that summer's pregnant. She's looking very different. Purple halter. Look at them all. And that. Look at. I'll zoom in. There's another one going somewhere over here. That's their paddock right bordering us. So someone will come along there at some point. Look at that horrible fence where it looks so bad. I'm zoomed in to the neighbor's fence and looking at the line, it's horrible. The fence? Oh, yeah, you get that. I know, I'm not, we didn't do it. I'm saying like, that's why we're fixing all these fences and doing all this, because it's like a dog's breakfast. Oh, no, you just halve that. Do you show him that? So you go from your last step to your post and you go in the middle. You're on camera, Jax. <laughs> you don't care. 
and Jetson's hanging very close to Cinnamon, so I reckon she's next to get mated. No, that's the purple one. No, no, he's been with Cinnamon all afternoon. That's Summer, I think he's already got her pregnant. But we have to confirm it. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah? <laughs> Think away. Think away on care, mate. Yeah, they love it. Our viewers love it. We are going to go straight down, my love. Given our predicament tonight. Situation. What situation? Rolling, rolling into the evening. Oh, it's plenty of daylight. No, not yet. Yep, cut it all, baby. Uh, leave the. Oh no, this this one. Leave the barb. And cut that. Uh, cut that side. Yeah, we'll just roll it all together. Yeah, yeah. Just, honey, honey, just this side. Don't cut that side. Good uh, seat there, Jax. So big and all the strain, at least to that one. And then it gives me that little section of strain when we get to it. Wait. What do you mean when we get to it? Why don't we do it all in one piece, straight down? Well, let me straight to this one. Why? Because it's a bit of a mission, and then you get a, like just this enough, it's going to be a bit of a, I'll have to strain a bit, strain a bit, we'll have to come in and pull it a bit. To get it tight. Okay. I better get back to cleaning up this filthy old fence. And while we're finishing the fence, we thought we'd leave you with this footage of this beautiful spider we found on the fence post. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. Take care of each other and bye for now.